What if the largest US banks are setting themselves up for a fall? What if the optimism about their prospects is about to sour? Imagine a tide not of water, but of bad debt, steadily rising, threatening to tip the balance. This is the predicament of the largest US banks as we approach the reporting of their fourth quarter earnings. The culprits? Non-performing loans. These are debts tied to borrowers who haven't made a payment in at least the past 90 days. Analysts are predicting that these loans have risen to a combined $24.4 billion in the last three months of 2023 at the four largest US lenders. We are talking about the big players here. JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo and Citigroup. That's an increase of nearly $6 billion since the end of 2022. But it's not just the unpaid loans that are causing the banks to lose sleep. The lingering impact of higher interest rates has raised the cost of deposits, adding to the financial strain. To make matters worse, in December, a number of big banks announced they would take a one-time charge by the end of the year to pay for a special assessment. This was imposed by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation to recover the $18.5 billion that last year's failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature cost the regulator's insurance fund. These financial challenges have had a domino effect. The six big banks, including Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, are forecast to have seen their earnings drop by an average of Thanks for watching like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.